Hello, right, working back on Fiesta today. I'm going to be trying to weld in that panel that I've made up for the floor. In the last video you saw me cut it, fold it and offer it up in the hole and I've gone to over to Zach. We've reinforced the bead roller after some recommendations by you guys uh, and we had another go and it came out a lot better this time and obviously we're just doing a smaller section on the floor so it's not going to be such a big involved task. As I said, we've reinforced our wibbly wobbly bead roller unit with some is that like I don't know six seven mil steel plate blobbed it on so gonna give it another go with this uh, new panel to go on the floor which way is it going? Go on there. Mm, a bit more bit more I don't think it Ready? Yeah, yeah, okay. Stop. Yeah, let's stop now. Uh, yeah. Stop yeah. Uh, that's when he's trying to come out now. Zach's just cracking on with the dual plenum inlet manifolds. So he's welded on the cone. He's just uh, cutting out these end caps and they'll weld on like so. And then throttle body plate. And then he's already put welded in the bungs for the fuel rail and injectors. Well, he's still got them out the fuel rail and then they're the bungs for the injectors. Looking good. Grind off the, like, the end mill bit though. Or well, the ball on the end. Yeah. Well, no, it's a cutter, so it like proper fucking eats in if you fuck. Is that from Carlo? Yeah. Oh, wicked. So it's like actually a <laughs> milling machine. Yeah, yeah, it's a genuine milling machine bit. So yeah, that's the panel all offered up. I uh, just prepped it all and cleaned out all of the under seal and stuff, so hopefully the weld will go in half decent. Yeah, just see how this turns out. So that's the floor panel all welded in. I am going to jack it up and have it a quick go over on this edge here from the underside with the welder and then uh, yeah, seal it all up, lick of paint and that's uh, good to go. And the door still opens, which is a bonus. I was a bit paranoid about chopping a big hole in the floor. I haven't actually opened that door since I cut the hole in the floor. You did run the risk of things not uh, aligning and twisting the chassis. So yeah, if you cut a hole in the floor, or if you're welding in roll cages, always make sure that the doors are shut and the car hasn't been jacked up at all. Now, whilst I've got the welder out, I'm also going to deal with this little bit of scabbiness, which is behind the passenger seat. Um, I was literally just going to lop it up and weld a new plate in. And I've also been meaning to sort out this little scabby hole down there. So we'll sort them out. And then I've also got to prep up and weld in these pieces. I don't obviously have a compressor currently in uh, my little garage at home, so um, I rely on these. These are quite good, little Dremel discs um, to get in all the tight nooks and crannies. And they've also got a little locating hub, so they don't just spin off like the other little Dremel discs do. But you can do quite intricate little cuts with these, and these have been quite a lifesaver, so I'd recommend them if you're looking to get like a little metal disc cutter. Does eat through blades quite quickly though, so make sure you've got 
a few to hand if you're doing quite a large area. This little cardboard template's made up. I just need to make them out of some 1.5mm steel and then uh, zap them in. So that's the repair all done. The one down the front. And the tunnel all welded in. And the little gusset pieces in the rear quarters. It's just the look of paint and they're good to go. Right, this is a completely another completely unnecessary add-on to the car. Basically, I've laser cut this front grille. Uh, even though I've got the US spec grills, I think I want to do something a little bit different and uh, take an inspiration to these types of starlet race cars and stuff back in the day which used to have big panelled grills with slots in them. These slots are in actual fact the same layout and size slots that are in the back of the car where the radiator is. So I've copied this over, knocked it off to one side because my engine radiator is actually over this side of the engine bay. Um, before I folded it up this way, I've just ground that out so hopefully I can just tweak this once I've cut this out to put a bit of a point on it which will match the original grill and then I've just got to fold these ends up, weld them up and that is going to go in once it's painted a nice tight fit to make some little bits up yeah once it's got the point in it uh, and I've done a quick photoshop so I cut to the photoshop now you can check out the sort of concept idea yeah, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to run with this, but something to do. And I think it could look pretty cool. I could do like a big big logo or something up on this blank bit here. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, back to the important things. I also try and make sure that I weld uh, from the underside as well. And then uh, as soon as you've done it, you really need to get some paint on it because within a week or two, even in a garage, it'll all start to rust up and you'll have surface rust on it and that's really not what you want after you've just replaced all the rust with some fresh metal. Well that's it for another video, thanks again for watching. Please check out the Big Cartel site, the link's in the bio below. I've got some new shirts up which are the Finkler's Einhorn Fiesta shirts and also the old Fiesta cartoon style shirts and hats and all sorts. So yeah, check them out and some stickers. Also I've got this uh, sample hat, the FPE logo I feel is a little bit too big so I have reduced it but um, I'm going to be giving this away with a couple of stickers uh, so in order to win this, competition time in order to win this uh, all you've got to do is comment on this video and I'll, I'll pick up random one of you guys and you can win some lovely FPE merchandise, check it out also don't forget to check out the latest Classic Forward magazine and uh, until next time I'll catch you guys later, take easy